I was going to go for a little adventure in the woods. And then it was like this, and I thought, no. And then there is another reason. <laughs> I've got a broken rib, which is quite painful. So chopping wood for a fire isn't on. And then I remembered I've got some Emmetal gold pay dirt. I'm going to wash that out and see what I've got. So, guys, I've had this for a couple of years. This is uh, from Emmetal region, Switzerland. I bought it when I were at the World Championships two years ago. Uh, at Bergdorf, so it's just over a couple of years ago. Never washed it out for emergency reasons like today. I mean, I've got to say, I'm getting a bit cabin fever. I haven't even been at Woods for a month. I broke, broke a rib. I've done, I, I flew, I had about everything. I mean, I've gone that crazy look. I've even started carving. <laughs> a little gold miner helps with the cabin fever. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to wash this out. I'm going to probably do it. It's only, a, it's not a big bag. I've managed to spill water all over already. It's warm water, so luckily. And uh, I'll wash this out. I'll do it off and off, probably two or three bits at a time. See what we've got. It's a place I've never been. So to, to actually, well, I've been to Bergdorf, I've been in area, but I've never tried uh, panning up there. So it might be something to do next year. Try that area. It's not a place I've been before to pan. I didn't get out as much as I'd like to this year. Been really busy. Oh, no energy. Let's have a look what this brings. Now, I can't imagine there's going to be a lot of gold in this. I think, as if I remember rightly, I paid about 11, 11 francs for it. So, I don't expect this to be a great deal in it. If a bit any gold is better than no gold. Could have probably saved it first. We'll probably speed it up for you, see what we get. It's a little bit difficult to pan into this. It's got real metal dirt in it. Looking at minerals that are in its scent, but it's Swiss dirt. I recognise it. <laughs> oh, seen gold. That's quite nice. That's surprising. You can see that, can't you? What I did forget was a snuffer bottle. Bear with me. So, welcome back. I said I would have sieved that, probably would have been a bad idea because that piece of one of the pieces of gold wouldn't have gone through that well, came with them in the sieve, you know what I mean? There's no really fine stuff in it. Which is unusual. If that's the quality of metal gold as a sample, obviously, because <laughs> people know exactly what they put in these bags when they sell them. On the size of it, I mean, most of the stuff where I am down here is quite small. There's occasional bigger bit in Secret River, but most of it's really small.
And I know a lot of people go through this stuff really slow like because it's like the pleasure of panning, but I just want to see the gold. I know there's no gold in that. I will go through this dirt again incidentally, but it's, uh, as I said, just want to see what's in it. Because I'm quite impressed so far with the first different result. There's quite a lot of black sand in this last bit, so in theory, could be more gold than what they were in the first one, first half. Let's hope. <laughs> Not as much as the first time. There's four little pieces, so that tells me that they probably scooped them gold into the top of the bag when when they fill the bag with dirt. And black sands were down there, but not much gold. But hey. Actually, I'll give this another look through. I did go through it rather quick. There's one more tiny little piece that were floating. So let's have a look at final results. That's final result, that's a nice bit though. Quite pleased. It's got a sound. So, bonus. I get a fever